Hey, what's up guys? It's the Supreme Lego Empire here coming at you with another video. This video is going to be all about my first custom minifig series, series 1. And in this video, I'm going to be going through each minifig in the series and talking about each one. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first minifig I'm going to be looking at is myself. Just a sig fig of myself. Just my signature minifig here. I mean, I think it looks a lot like me. I mean, hair looks like me. I like the face on this minifig. I mean, it's just my favorite face that Lego has made. So, the shirt. I mean, I'm a pretty big 1980s classic Lego space fan. So I just kind of like that shirt. And I mean, the pants. Just some pants that I thought looked fairly decent. Not just the regular single colored Lego pants. So let's get into the next minifig. So the next minifig I'm going to be talking about is just minifig of my buddy Jacob. Who likes to watch this channel. So I mean he likes baseball. I used the shirt from the Lego actual series. It was like series 6 or something. Lego Stackers baseball player. So, found a hat that sort of matched. Pants. Got a ball in his hand. I mean, kind of simple, but this kind of goes with what he likes, which is baseball. Next minifig is my buddy Russell. So, probably wondering, why is he wearing a hat? Um, not really any Lego hair that really matches Russell's hair. I mean, Lego doesn't really make anything that look right on this minifig, so I just put a hat on him. He's pretty tall, so he's got some extra studs under his feet to make him look a little bit taller. Likes basketball, so he's wearing a basketball jersey. I think that's got the design front and back. Yep, it does. It's just, I think the minifig is pretty well done, and Russell might like it. Next minifig here is my buddy Steven. He's kind of adventurous, kind of dangerous looking in minifig form. I mean, in real life, he's just pretty cool. I mean, does all kinds of cool stuff. So, figured, let's just make a really cool guy that looks like an action movie hero. And that just kind of resembles him. And we got into a conversation the other day about the Rex Danger Vest face. And, yep, there it is. We've just kind of... Go into a conversation, and he's like, who's Rex Dangerous? I'm like, have you seen the Lego movie too? And he's like, no, I didn't really get around to seeing it. So once he got around to seeing it, he knew how cool Rex Dangerous was, even though he was a bad guy. And Emmett wins. But either way, I think this is a pretty cool minifig, and let's get into another one. So the next minifig on our list is my friend. Well, pretty much every minifig in this series is my friend. But this is Matthew. I mean... Didn't do his hair today. Just like half the days that I see him. Looks kind of simple. I mean, spends a lot of time looking at his phone. His eyes are kind of destroyed there. So, he also likes basketball like Russell, but that's kind of Russell's minifigs thing. So, I just slapped a nice t-shirt on this minifig. So, now well, let's go to a different minifig. Alright, this is Caden. Caden's pretty cool. I mean, we play some sports together, so he's pretty cool. I mean, he's got kind of curly hair. This is the best I could do for that. I mean, I mean, he's kind of a muscly guy, so I gave him that kind of, I don't know, sort of like built-looking face. Sort of adds to the idea that he's got some muscles under his shirt, so kind of see that in the back a little bit, but... That's about it for him. Let's move on to a different minifig here. Well, my camera has decided to become a really grainy looking picture again. So, anyways, this is my friend, Chris D. I mean, dressed kind of nice. Sort of simple looking. I mean, got some hair sort of up. That's, this is actually like hair like resembles him pretty well. So, that's what he usually does. Uh, the head sort of looks a little bit... It sort of looks like him. I mean, it was kind of hard to find. I mean, this is the best I could do. So, yeah, that's about it. 
Okay, so you might have seen the upper half of this minifig is from a Lego produced minifig, except the hair. It was a different haircut before, but anyways, I use this because this is my friend Preston, and I just, I was looking for minifig, and I found, I saw this one wandering around this, my city, and I said, well, that looks just like him. He has glasses. I just threw some shorts on because he's always wearing shorts, and just resembles him pretty well, in my opinion. I mean, the shirt, shirt, shirt's pretty good, but I think the face just resembles him pretty well. Let's take a closer look at that. The super grainy camera. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, pretty good. Next minifig. Okay, so here we got Ben. Ben's pretty interesting minifig. I mean, Ben wants to be a Navy guy, so I gave him the cool Navy hat, and he's probably like watching this right now wondering... Why am I wearing Coast Guard stuff? I want to be in the Navy. Well, it's the best I could do. Okay? So, Ben wants to be a pilot. That explains the helmet and the sort of... I don't think there's a life vest that the guy's wearing. I kind of think of it as like the seatbelt strap-in system for a plane, I guess. So, that's just the way I kind of see it. I mean, it doesn't look too much like a one of those floating devices on the back. I mean, sort of like a clip and everything. Looks like he's just about to fly a plane, in my opinion. Just got to take off his hat, put on the helmet. So, next minifig. So, next minifig is another Chris. This is Chris V. He's one of my other friends. I mean, got black hair. Dress is kind of nice. So, next minifig I made is my buddy Chris V. Um, he's got black hair. I mean, this is... I mean, he doesn't really dress with a weird zipper jacket like that, but I mean, that's just the jacket I found. I was running out of jackets to find, and I didn't want to take apart 100 minifigs looking for jackets, so. I mean, I think this face kind of resembles him because got this minifig, can't really tell. He's got a little bit of mu mustache there. I mean, this just reminds me of Chris's face, just without, like, the beard part on the side, the not-shaved beard. It just kind of reminds me of him, sort of. I mean, nothing on the back of the minifig. It's kind of simple, but this was one of the last ones I made, so I think it kind of resembles him, though. Okay, so the next minifig on the list is a guy named Nolan. Um, he hangs out with us. He's pretty cool. We like the same sports team, so we talk quite often. Um, probably thinking, why does he have that haircut? Um, I don't know, ask him. That's his actual haircut there for a while, I mean. He's wearing a, <clears throat> wearing his hair like that for a while. Uh, face like that, I guess. I mean, I didn't know what face, so I just went back to default face that I like. I got a lot of them. Put them on as many minifigs as I can. So, he's got the train worker shirt. It's a, in... Lego City, he is a train worker. So when I finally get the train station built and get the rail line possibly implemented into the city somehow, because it's a very small area that probably isn't good for trains, but when I get that done, I mean, I'm sure he'll be in one of the scenes there. So on to the next minifig. Okay, last minifig. Um, this is my buddy Pietro. Um, Minifig, yes, I know, it was already a Lego-produced minifig back in the Lego Minifig Series 1. So, not with the, not with the selfie camera and everything, but this just reminds me of Pietro because you got the headphones, you got the tech shirt, I mean, wears jeans pretty much every day. So, he's got the selfie stick and everything because I just kind of think of him as just like, in the Lego world, he would be just not paying attention to really anything around him. Just walking through the street aimlessly with the selfie stick. Almost getting hit by cars and stuff. But that's just about it for him, I guess, in the Lego world. In real life, he doesn't really wander aimlessly, but in the Lego world, he does. Okay, so in this series, we've also got some secret minifigs. So... 
I'll show you who they are. So, first two. We got the Cowboys. Why they look so apocalyptic. They're kind of apocalyptic, I guess. I mean, I created them down at Bricks by the Bay, probably about 2018. Um, for some tabletop games in the apocalyptic game. So, I created them. I used them in the game. I won. Both... Both years that I've used them. I used them 2018 and 2019. I won both years. Not like first place, but I won the game. Which means you just gotta survive. So, I survived. Um, these guys did. So, I brought them back to the city. I've made them sort of like the... Sort of like secret protectors of the city. Not, not really secret, but sort of like... They're not like huge publicity guys. I mean... There's a few of them, but these are just the top two guys. I mean, they're the bosses. I mean, there's a whole lot of cowboys that are protectors, but pretty much anybody with a cowboy hat is a cowboy protector in the city, and it was in the battle when bad things happened. So, now for the next secret minifigs. Okay, the next two secret minifigs are minifigs from just from when I was younger. I liked to play with them a lot more, so... And you're probably wondering why they are colored on with Sharpie. Um, I was like seven. There were Sharpies. I could reach them. Kind of self-explanatory. Um, I played with them. But the, this guy's story over here um, doesn't really have an official name. He's just like the biggest hero in the city's history. Just, just kind of casual, I guess. I mean... It's retired now, it's moved on to a new hero, but cowboys kind of keep watch over things. There's another hero, but we'll get into that another time. But this guy, he protected the city for many, many years. He got injured many times, and he's sort of just, I don't know, he's just like the best hero that I can make ever. <clears throat> okay, and now for this guy. This guy... Um, got a big blue sword, but away from that, that's more newer. This guy, um, his story was when I used to do stop motion videos, which got deleted so I can't just post them. I wish I could, but they got deleted when my iPad died a few years back, so. This guy was one of the good guys in the series, and he fell underneath the dresser in my bedroom, and when he came out, he had some marks on him, so I just... Kind of colored him up, made him sort of interesting. Still a good guy. Looks sort of like a bad guy, but definitely a good guy. He's kind of just a warrior. I, mean, I didn't color all of him. I mean, I, I did a touch-up job a few minutes ago just to kind of get those faded spots. Sort of like a curse or something, I guess, that's on him. But anyways, these are the last two minifigs in the series. They're the... Two of the four secret minifigs of the series that you wouldn't have seen in the beginning. So, yeah. And I guess that's it for this video. So, see you next time, guys.